ready to go? Yeah, I mean, uh, I felt ready to go last week. What happened Sunday after the warm-ups? Oh, no, nah, nothing happened. Um, uh, I was told before the game, uh, way, way before the game, that I wasn't playing. I mean, I, I, was, just, I was just doing my own little just kind of staying in shape type of deal. Okay, so you weren't trying no. to test it too No, play. no. When you said you were ready to go, did you try to convince uh, Greg, hey, no. ain't you playing this game? No. I mean, um, <laughs> he made his decision, and I mean, um, uh, I, uh, I just have to respect it and, uh, um, I mean, uh, just on to the next week. That must have been especially frustrating then to watch that game, thinking you could have been up there. Um, um, I mean, just kind of taking it day by day, man, and um, just kind of looking forward to the Atlanta Falcons this week. Do you think the week, do you think the week off or the not playing Sunday will help you this week physically get over that groin injury? No. <laughs> what was Greg's message for doing that? What, was, what did he? What reason did he give you? There wasn't a message. I mean, um, I wasn't here throughout the week. Like, it's not I wasn't at practice, I wasn't even here. Like, so I wasn't even available to be in the meeting. So it was more of that. Like, so yeah. Is that, that was to get evaluated? Or? I was going to see a doctor, yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you go see Dr. Nah, I just went to see my personal doctor. <laughs> you got good news? You got good news from the doctor? You don't need surgery or anything like that? No, no. Great news. Okay. I said to Marius, when you look at this um, Falcon offense, those receivers, what stands out? Uh, I mean, another explosive offense coming here this Sunday. Um, got explosive weapons with Julio, Calvin Ridley, Sanu. Got a nice little running game and um, a former M and a former MVP quarterback that is basically running the show. And uh, just kind of looking forward to competing against. Marius, how do you deal with? Not you personally, but is a defense. All the injuries. Now Kirko's gone, EJ's gone, and you got other guys throughout there. Uh just the next man up, man. I mean, um I mean uh, that's why we have a fifty three man roster and uh forty six man dress and and I feel like everybody in here are professional athletes. So um, I feel like the next man up philosophy and um, just giving somebody else an opportunity to play. Do you think it gets tougher for Greg to call the plays he wants to because he doesn't have his top guys? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I really can't speak for him and his play calling, but um, I just know um, just, just it's just the next man up philosophy here. Do you guys feel conditioned because of your schedule to be able to hang with these better teams that you're playing? <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like each week has been um, a pretty good opponent that has, that has stepped on the field with us. Um, I'm not sure how the Cleveland Browns get such, such tough schedule, but um, but uh, just whoever on there, I mean, um, uh, it is what it is. Did you uh, go into this week expecting to play corner? Preparing to play corner? Uh, I'm a free safety um, that has the ability to play corner. Looks like the numbers suggest that you'd be needed. Mm. Uh, that you seem like a pretty good coach. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you are you are you physically well enough to play either position? Um, I mean, I, I mean, if I step on the field, I feel healthy enough to play. Yes. Have you covered Julio one on one before? Yes. How difficult is that to do? He's very good. I mean, um, he's, if not the best, uh, one of the best receivers up in the NFL. And I mean, um, we're just watching him on film. He looked healthy for the first time in a couple of years. I mean, uh, he's really looking like himself back in 2012 when he was dominating. We saw your matchup with Mike Evans. What does Julio do different than Mike? Is he faster than Mike? Is that the biggest thing? Um, I mean, they are just two different type of receivers, and there's a different type of offense that you're facing. I mean, um, just depends on the way the offense want to use them. But I mean, uh, I feel like Julio is a complete receiver that I mean that can run any um, that can run any route up in a route tree, and uh, just kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, I apologize, but it was hard to hear earlier. When did you see the doctor? What was the end result? Did you say that earlier? You saw a doctor. Yes, I did. Was it before last week's game? Yes. Yes. What was the best uh, whiteout you ever faced? I mean, you faced the Megatron. Of the so, yes, Julio is the best receiver I faced. And what what are the elements that go into making him the best? You know, you said he's uh, unique. What's unique about him? 
big, fast, strong. Um, I mean, you name it. Um, he's pretty much what you want in in your typical receiver nowadays. I mean, um, he's the guy. If you had to pick a receiver number one up in the league, um, I'm pretty sure probably all 32 teams would pick Julio Jones. Teams kept him out of the end zone this year until Washington. Probably double teaming him, triple teaming him up in the red zone. I mean, yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, um, I mean, because he's, uh, I mean, he's a threat to score any type of way. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure teams has been focusing on him a lot, and um, that opened up things for Calvin Ridley. And the rest of the crew, and uh, just kind of looking forward to. Yeah, I mean they're, I mean they're a very dynamic offense. I mean, um, uh, some like the Chiefs, but I feel like they're actually got a little bit better weapons than the Chiefs do. If you ask me personally on film, but hey. What, what differences have you noticed in Greg Williams' leadership in comparison to Greg Williams' defensive coordinator to Greg Williams' head coach? Uh, I mean, Greg is Greg. I mean, um, uh, what you see is what you get. I mean, um, uh, Greg is a guy that is gonna be up front with you. I mean, um, I mean, uh, he is, uh, he is just one of those type guys. System wise, how about Atlanta, Kansas City? I mean, you mentioned Atlanta, Atlanta. Is it similar. Or are they totally different. Nah, I mean, they're totally different, but they both put the ball in the end zone. So I mean. <laughs> There are some there are some similarities, but I mean for the most part, um, it's just different ways they get guys the ball. I mean, um, and uh, both of them got two pretty good offense coordinators, and um, and two pretty good head coaches that really know how to use their guys. Over there. Did you play Atlanta two years ago? Yes. Because people are saying Ryan is having a better year now than he was in his MVP year. I don't know. Have you seen that? How does he compare? You even think about something. Um, I, I mean, I really don't think about stuff like that. I mean, I know there are different offensive coordinators. Um, Kyle Shannon was the coordinator back then whenever we lost to him in the NFC Championship game. Um, but, I mean, um, who's the offensive coordinator? Sarkeesian right now? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, um, they are running similar plays, but, I mean, just kind of different rhythms and stuff that the offensive coordinator has with with it, with them just trying to gel with them, I mean, because it seemed like Kyle, because it seemed like Kyle Shannon had a little better feel back then. But I mean, they're still tough to cover. I mean, um, I mean, uh, with Julio being healthy now, um, um, Atlanta offense is rolling right now. How is the team holding together after all the big coaching changes? I feel like we're holding together pretty good. I mean, uh, uh, everybody have each other back, and uh, we're gonna go out there Sunday and fight for each other. It doesn't feel that long ago when you were talking about it. you could have been whatever six and zero, five and one. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, it's a four-game losing streak. So, how are you dealing with that, and how do you guys get out of this rut? Um, I mean, dealing with losing is tough, man. I mean, uh, everybody hates losing. Um, but uh, that just goes to show that we got to capitalize upon our opportunities we had in the beginning of the season. I mean, um, uh, just as far as just learning experience. I mean, um, because we could have easily been 6-0, and and even with this four-game losing streak, I mean, we could still be looking at a, a pretty nice 6-4, and 5-5 five, uh, five and five type of record uh, right about now. So it's like... I mean, um, just for all of those things to have to be up in consideration, I mean, uh, we just got to learn from it and just grow from it.